course, Dana. I was afraid of taking baths because I don't know where that water has been. And then, what about piranhas or sharks? So I decided to hide in this coat because there's no water, as far as I know. What do you think, Ada? Ada? I don't think my name is Ada. Good day. Monty, wait! Where's Ada? I heard she's homesick with gerbil flu. She's sick? Oh no. Who's going to convince me to believe in myself and overcome my fears? I will go find help. Here we go, everyone. The maiden voyage of my homemade hot air balloon! If anyone would like to point out what a bad idea this is, now is the time! Hi, Otto! You seem taller than normal. Well, I was reading about the golden age of hot air balloons, and one thing led to another, and suddenly I'm on the roof with a poorly built hot air balloon. Okay. By now, Ada would have pointed out that this was really dangerous, but she's sick with gerbil flu, so... <laughs> Victor? Oh, Montgomery. Uh, observe. Jax is about to come out the front door, and then I'm going to dump a bucket of tapioca pudding all over him. Huh? Blast! Why didn't it work? Hey, Victor! Didn't you basically do the same mean trick to Jax a month ago? <gasps> oh, no! You're right! No wonder it didn't work! Oh, this is all Ada's fault. What? Yes, she's always trying to foil my plot, so I have to stay one step ahead of her. Without Ada, there's nothing pushing me to invent new trouble. <gasps> I'm becoming... predictable. What are we gonna do? We can't go on like this! Seriously, it's only a matter of time before I break a bone or something. Wait! I have an idea! Really? Yes. immediately. <laughs> Ada! This is one of those cards where you can record your voice. Everyone misses you. Just listen. Ada? Ada! Should I come out of this coat or not? I need your advice! Ada! I'm gonna wait till you get better before I try my hot air balloon. Because deep down, I think it might be a bad idea. Ada, come back. There's no balance to my tricks without you. It's me again, Monty! We hope you feel better and are not a gerbil for much longer. Okay, bye-bye. How, how do you turn it? Oh, Ada. I love it. One of those cards where you can record your voice. The world just falls into perfect harmony. You said it, Otto. Our family is healthy, church is going great, and school is just perfect. Greetings, siblings. Hi. Oh, Leo, can you bring Pat to school tomorrow? My team is playing in the dodgeball championship, and we need a ringer. Praise and thanks. Mom didn't tell you? Tell us what? I've been moved up two grades. I'm entering middle school tomorrow. They decided to move you up to middle school? I made them think it was their decision, yes. Praise and thanks. Wait, Pat's going too? All of my robots are entering middle school with me. <gasps> You're taking your robots? All of them? Technically, they are considered an extension of my intelligence. Come on, we're going to be late. Praise and thanks. We won't have Leo at school anymore. Who will guide us? Who will protect me from the fourth graders? I've been mouthing off to them all semester. Hey, fourth graders! You look like a bunch of third graders! You're just lucky your big brother can build such intimidating robots. Yeah! And he'll be my big brother forever! <laughs> right, Leo? 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 <laughs> Leo? Oh no. Hey, Leo, how much of this should I use? Well... Leo? Leo? Oh, no. Ugh, this worksheet is impossible. 
Ugh, I know. It might as well be written in French. Hey, Leo, can you help us? Leo? Uh, Leo? Hey, guys. I can help you with your homework. Oh, oh no. no. What's the holdup? Don't, Don't go, go to middle, middle school, school, Leo. We need you in grade school. We need your robots. We're not ready. Sure you are. It's not going to be easy. It will be really hard sometimes. But you're both capable kids. You can do it. But what if we need guidance? I didn't have an older sibling at school, and I still turned out super. But how did you do it all by yourself? Well, I didn't. I had God with me the whole time. And God is with both of you, ready to guide you. As long as you don't forget that, there's nothing you can't handle. We'll still miss you, though. It's not like I'm going to the moon. You'll still see me at home. You promise? I promise. Can you actually go to the moon? I'm working on it. Your sick tot. Ostrich pox is the worst. Otto, hurry up! We're going to be late for the Junior Camping Crusaders meeting. Uh, why aren't you in your uniform? Sadly, I'm not going, Ada. I've got a promise to keep. What promise? I told Mom and Dad that I'd stay home and help them take care of Todd all day. Yeah, but I'm sure they'd let you go to this. Maybe so, but I promised. And we learned in Sunday school that when God makes a promise, it's forever. What does that have to do with you? Well, to a kid, a whole day is forever. I'm just trying to follow God's good example, Ada. God promised not to flood the earth again, and Otto promised to watch Tot for the whole day. It's pretty much the same thing. Otto, I don't really think that... Sorry, Ada. I've got a promise to keep. <sighs> All right. Juice? One juice coming right up. Hey, Otto! Otto! M Monty? Hi, Otto. It's Monty from Sunday School. Can you come out and play pinata kickball? Oh man, I've always wanted to play pinata kickball. Oh, but I have to stay with Todd all day. She's sick. Well, just put some applesauce in her socks and come play. Sorry, I, I made a promise. All right, goodbye. <coughs> Josh, please. <laughs> Troop leader Susan is taking us all to see the new movie, Super Beetle Man 3. Super Beetle Man 3? Oh, I really want to see that. So come with us. <coughs> uh, no. No, you go on without me. But Otto... I made a promise. Keeping it. Go. Now. <sighs> <gasps> what was that? Otto! Otto, it's wonderful! The Good Times truck just blew a tire at the end of the block! The Good Times truck? Isn't that the truck that brings all the amazing candy and prizes to the Chester T. Good Times Pizza and Games World? The very same. The driver is letting kids take whatever they want before it all goes bad. Video games, toys, skateboards, go grab whatever you can carry. It's a chance of a lifetime! Must. Keep. Promise. Oh, no. God. Keep it together. No. Toys. Games. No, no, no. Good times. Go, Otto. It's okay. <coughs> <sighs> a promise is a promise. One juice. Coming up. to paint a beautiful mural for the community center. Let's set up the ladder and get to it. Uh, all right. Okay, gang, this is what we're painting. Who wants to paint the river? Me, 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 me. Really, Victor? Oh, yes. I've got some big plans for the river. Big plans. 
<laughs> I'll help with the river, too. All right. And can someone get started on the birds? Ooh, I love birds. Chicken, turkey, ham, all of them. Oh, okay, Monty. Just follow the picture, please. And Clara, I know you're scared of heights, so I'll just go up the ladder and you can hold it for me. Um, actually, Ada, I am scared of heights, but... Super! See you in a bit! <laughs> ah, well, let's see how the troops are doing. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing? Ready? One. One. Two. Stop! Oh, Ada, you're back down. Hello. I gave you all simple jobs, and I can't even trust you to do those. No, no, no. This will be great. I promise. Nope. New jobs for everyone. Victor, you hold that bucket of paint. Monty, you blow on the wall to dry the paint. Otto, you supervise both of them and touch nothing. Clara, you're doing a great job holding the ladder. Actually, Ada, I'd prefer to paint at the top of the ladder. Clara, you're scared of heights. Yes, but I'm really... <sighs> All right, let's see how it looks. Oh, no! We'll never get this done in time. We could if you let us help. I don't know. Look, Ada, if you want to get this done, you'll have to trust us. You can't do it all on your own. <sighs> okay. Everyone, back to their first jobs. And Clara? Yes? You can take a turn at the top of the ladder. <gasps> oh, thank you! is when Miss Jane gets a cup of coffee after the service and talks to Pastor Donna, which means we have one paper cup's worth of time where there is no law. Fellow Sunday School students! What are you doing, Victor? You're going to get in trouble. <laughs> How can I, Adelphia? With no Sunday School teacher, we are free to do all the things we're not allowed to do, like stand on the table. But you can't stand on the table. Why? If there's no grown-up to punish me, why can't I? Because... Um, because you're too high up. That's why. Ahem. Attention, everyone. From now until Miss Jane comes in, we can do whatever we want. So, if I wanted to eat my lunch early, I could? Don't ask me, Clara. There are no rules. Hmm. I could stand here and argue with you, Victor. Or I could just finish up the game of tag Jackson and I were playing before church. Mm. Tag, you're it. Hmm. Yes! No, no. Yes! A giant game of tag! Indoors! But we are not supposed to run in the classroom and... Tag, you it! That's it! Oh, no, you've done it! Get down here! Yes! Yes! Just a little bit of glitter to make the cow extra sparkly. Uh-oh, nothing gets glitter out of carpet. Except maybe more glitter. Dessert first. I feel so alive. Ooh, pretty. All right, Ada. Time to break the class bobsled record. There's no record. So it'll be easy. You see, there was no need for any of those laws. Uh, ah! uh, 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 hey, Otto, get me out of here. Sorry, Victor. Gotta break the new bobsled record. But I'm stuck! All this running around and standing on tables.
has ended very badly. Wait! <laughs> you know... Don't say it. I know. Rules are there to keep us safe so bad things like this don't happen. I get it, Ada. Actually, I was going to say it's weird that we have this many trash cans in one classroom. Man, how long does it take Miss Jane to drink a cup of coffee? school become nothing but biblical analysis. Since we've been able to read and write. Do you know how long the Bible is? A billion pages. And then there's all these leaflets, huge art projects, endless sermons. Sunday school is too hard. I want to go back to the nursery. We're allowed to do that? No, you can't go back to the nursery. It's for babies. Not anymore. I'm re-enrolling. Who's with me? Clara? I do miss the security of rounded edges and outlet protectors. Ada? I'll stay at the big kids' table, thank you. Suit yourself. Clara and I will be finger painting. <laughs> Gather round, nursery friends. We have two new friends joining us today. Everyone, meet Otto and Clara. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> you see? This is the life, Clara. No leaflets, no Bible verse memorization, no other children our own age. What's wrong, Clara? I forgot to mention that babies make me extremely nervous. Uh, I'll get you some water. Whoa there, little guy. Babies aren't allowed outside of the nursery. I was just getting some water for Clara. Oh, if you need water, you need to ask a licensed certified nursery attendant to help you. Uh, but I'm seven years old. Oh, I think someone's a little overstimulated and needs a nap. What? No, I'm not tired at all. Oh, this one works a little cranky. I am not cranky. A little swaddle will cure what ails him. No. No, no, no! Don't do that! I, I, I don't shh, want... Shh, shh. Hush now, little treasure. Hush your little face. Oh, terrifying. I absolutely refuse to sleep in these conditions. Snack time! Are you ready for your applesauce? Applesauce? I have teeth. Sounds like someone is cranky without his applesauce. No, no, no. No, 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 stop. No, 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 no. No more. I don't want it. How'd it go? I see now that simpler times may have been too simple. Um, where's Clara? Oh, no. Clara! Otto? Otto? I want to go home now! <laughs> hey, Clara, you like coloring books, right? Yes. Then I'd like to give you my Captain Remarkable coloring book. Really? Wow, thanks. I gotta make room for all my rewards anyway. Rewards? Yeah, Pastor Donna said that sacrificing things for Lent can be very rewarding. Hey, all of these pictures are colored already. Well, yeah, I already colored them. That's why I gave them to you. I also gave Jax my extra pencil and I gave up eating oysters for the whole Lent season. You don't even know what oysters are. And yet I still gave them up, Ada. I'm on such a roll with this lead thing. Hey, Monty, you don't have a bike. How about I give you my bike? <gasps> really? Wow. I've never had a two-wheel bike before. My bike has four wheels. Um, that's because your bike is a wagon. 
Uh, my parents say it's harder to flip over, but I still find a way. Oh. Here you go, Monty. My bike is now yours. Wow! Thanks, Otto. I'll name it after you. Hi-ho, Otto, away! And there he goes. With my bike. My one and only bike. Um, don't you need your bike, Otto? No, it'll be fine. God will probably reward me with a motorcycle or something. I've never heard of God giving you better versions of things that you sacrifice. Well, why else would you give something up? Otto, Ada, grab your bikes. The big bike rally is starting. All right, the bike rally is today. It's gonna be great. You couldn't have mentioned that before I gave my bike away? I thought you knew what you were doing. Clearly I didn't, Ada, or else I wouldn't have given my bike to Monty for nothing! Oh, not for nothing, Otto. Monty's never had a bike before. I'm sure he'll put it to good use. Whoa, Otto! Whoa, boy! I'm taking these homeless kittens to the library to read to them. And it's all thanks to you, Otto. Uh, hey, Monty, I've been thinking. I don't know if I can give you my bike. Uh, oh, no? Well, I can give it back if you want. Yeah. You know what? No, you keep the bike, Monty. I'm giving it to you. Really? Wow, that's two bikes you've given me today. Thanks, Otto. <sighs> wow, who'd have thought sacrificing would be so difficult? I think lots of people. Aren't you going to the bike rally? Oh, I don't actually ride bikes. I'm a bike enthusiast. I enjoy them from a safe distance. Oh, okay. Wanna go watch the bikes? I'd love to. Crash Tractor 2. Hey, Ada. How's it going? All wet? That's cool. Yes, I am. Because Daphne and her friends have decided to make coming home from school a terrible experience for me every day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Daphne, the sixth grader? She threw water on you? No, water balloons. After she and her friends said that my braids look dumb, but before they chased me off the playground. No one treats my sister that way. You know what we have to do, don't you? Take my into our own hands. Wait, what? I said tell an adult. No way. I'll go with you and we'll tell those girls that if they mess with you, they mess with Otto. I will be there, backing you up no matter what. Like a deputy sheriff in the Wild West. Which one of you made fun of my horse? This isn't the Wild West, Otto. You're right. I might be more of an avenging ninja. I get that you couldn't decide if you wanted to be a ninja or a sheriff's deputy, Otto, but why the cape? The cape was the only thing I was sure about. Now let's focus. We have to watch each other's back in case we run into Daphne and her friends on the way home. We are not going to fight them, Otto. Of course not. I just want to make sure I don't get hit in the back with a water balloon. Huh. Uh, hi, Daphne. That's them? They're so tall. We're doomed! My whole life is flashing before my eyes! No, focus, Otto. You know what you need to do. Look, Daphne, we don't want any trouble. My brother and I just want to go home. But if you mess with one of us... Otto? Otto? <laughs> How's it going? Covered in leaves? That's cool. I'm covered in leaves because Daphne and her friends threw me into a hedge. You've been furrowed. It was that bad? Yes, Otto. Oh, I cannot believe you. After all your talk about being there to help me, you totally betrayed me. You said you would be a deputy or a ninja, but you weren't any of those things. You weren't even there. 
Aida, I'm sorry, okay? It was just seeing those kids close up. I got scared what might have happened if I helped you. And I was scared while I was getting chased by sixth graders on bikes, alone. I know. I feel so much worse than if I'd stayed. I'm really sorry. I'm going to go tell Mom and Dad about Daphne and her friends, which is what I should have done before I ever listened to you. Ada, I am really sorry. Can you forgive me? <sighs> Ask me tomorrow, Otto. I don't really want to talk to you right now. Hey guys, are you ready for church? Did you find your Easter baskets? What's the point, Leo? Yeah, what's the point? Oh, well, they're filled with candy. Candy, Leo? Honestly, candy? At a time like this? A time like what? They just killed Jesus! The kindest, most complex, and mysterious character in the whole Bible! He was only 33! Yeah. How is it that you are just realizing this now? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because we're finally paying attention. Or we've just been in denial. Yeah, maybe our fragile little minds couldn't handle it. I mean, you spend a whole testament with this character. You grow to love him, you feel like you really know him. And then he just... dies! Just like that! Why would you even tell a story like that? Well, because that's what actually happened. Hey, well, guys, that's Mom and Dad. They're waiting for us. We'll just make the 10 a.m. Easter breakfast before second service. It should be fun. Uh, fun? Fun? Ugh, choose your words, Leo. I chose every word. Otto, I'm scared about what other bad things might happen. What if they round up and crucify all the disciples? I'm worried that they're going to repossess the demon-possessed boy. Guys, you know what happens. Jesus comes back to life. Don't give us that, Leo. We're not three anymore. <laughs> yeah, we know people can't really come back to life. No, really. Jesus was fully resurrected. Jesus is dead, Leo. You can't talk your way out of it with your logic and $10 words. That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> It's me, Clara. Clara? Where's your helmet? Yeah, you always have it on. Oh. Well, I must have taken it off during Pastor Pete's exciting conclusion to his three-part Easter sermon. Let me guess. A plague of flies falls upon Jerusalem? Or Thomas gets swallowed by a fish? No, Jesus is risen! He is risen! Risen? Are you sure? Yes! So Pastor Pete looked you directly in the eye and said Jesus is risen. He told it to everyone. He said that after three days, Mary goes to the tomb to see Jesus, but he's not there. And then she starts crying, and then she sees two angels, and then the two angels ask her why she's crying, and then she says, if you took Jesus, please give him back. And then Jesus shows up totally alive! Seriously? He is risen! What did I tell you? Wait, where are you going? Easter service! Yeah, we gotta get front row seats!